let's choose new and here we have a lot of categories and after installing the right plugin you will see HTML5 category with HTML5 with Java application logic uh, project type. Let's create new one. Uh, demo Java user synergy. And okay, let's create that application. So what we have now <coughs> is application which will display a browser, but most of the application logic will be written in Java. Oops, this is not the right mode. data. Data model is the right class. So this is basically that drives uh, the class that drives the application logic. And what I can do? Well, I can put here a breakpoint, and I can even uh, debug the application. So let's try it. Let's see how it looks like. So uh, my Java code is compiling uh, and executing, and it will render its UI in a browser. Uh, this is using uh, the HTML for Java APIs developed as part of NetBeans. Okay, so this is the UI and uh, okay, let's do some changes. You can see that uh, changing the text in the line also synchronizes something in the text. But now comes the important stuff. So if I press stop button, I get a question which comes from a JavaScript. But then if I hit yes, um, my application really stops execution inside of my Java code, and here, so, so basically this application has part is partly written in Java and partly written in JavaScript. So what we are using for that, in order to associate Java and JavaScript, we are using a specially designed uh, JavaScript body annotation, which basically says this is a method, and instead of invoking this method in, in handling it in Java, perform this form of JavaScript. Of course, the question is, can you test this application? And the next step is, can you also debug these applications? So let's now uh, uh, look at the JS integration test, which is exactly the way how we can test whether our integration between Java and JavaScript behaves the same. So. Here is a uh, test case which verifies that after calling the confirm by user method, calling this method, we can really get back and uh, see that the callback returns into Java. So let's put a breakpoint here and debug this test. So test, debug test file. The Maven project compiles, executes the test, and now what we can see is, okay, the, our code really stopped inside of the um, Java code. So let's do debugging. And here, what we can see is uh, basically the stack trace. And the surprising thing that I'd like to show is here uh, is a mixture of um, frames coming from Java and coming from JavaScript engine called Nashorn. Nashorn is the scripting engine for upcoming JDK 8. So what I can do here, and we are still debugging the Java code inside of single Java machine, a uh, Java virtual machine, I can go to source. And you wouldn't believe that. Uh, what we can see now is actually the JavaScript code. And this allows us to debug the JavaScript, to see what's happening inside of the JavaScript. So let me switch the current uh, current uh, frame. Now we can really see what are the values. We can see the message being a string, a JavaScript string. We can see alert being a function coming from uh, from the JavaScript. So right now we are really doing a mixed debugging, showing and seeing what happens inside of the Java virtual machine as well as inside of the Java virtual machine and seeing the uh, communication, seeing what is happening in both of these words. And this really helps because if you can debug just JavaScript or if you can debug just Java, the other part of the system is a complete black box. Since 8, together with JDK 8, uh, comes with a great feature that allows everyone to basically understand 
behavior of mixed system, a system which contains JavaScript and Java. OK, so uh, let me do some change. So as I mentioned, this is basically uh, the way how um, our NetBeans library deals with the JavaScript. Of course, at the end, this gets turned into invocation of the NASHORN scripting machine, which is part of the GTK. But let me, for example, modify this method to warn the user not once, but few times. So let's uh, 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 let's add a parameter warn times. And now, well, and this is the behavior of our uh, library. It says, OK, the number of actual method parameters does not match the number of JavaScript parameters. So let's add one parameter here. So now we have three Java parameters and also three uh, JavaScript parameters. And what we will do is to somehow format the body so it's slightly better. Uh, organized and what we will do is to add a while cycle one minus minus greater than zero then repeat the following things here okay and that basically should lead to a state when we can warn few times and only then perform the action that we really want to perform so mm, we need to modify the call so in the application we will Go, uh, warn just once. But let's say, for example, in the test, uh, this uh, confirmed by user should warn three times. And three times, that basically means that this runnable method should be called three times, uh, and the called uh, integer value should be increased three times. So let's change the value here. And let's do some debugging. I will put a breakpoint here as well. And let's do debugging once again, debug the test file. Again, the, it's a major project, it gets compiled and the tests get executed. Um, and yes, again, we can see that we, we are in the, in the uh, Java call stack. So let's uh, make this the current state, uh, current, uh, current frame, and we can put breakpoint here as well. No, not a problem. So we can put a breakpoint into the JavaScript code and we can continue. So now it stops here and says warn is true. So let's do another callback. And if we continue, well, we are here again. And once again, the warn goes down. But we can see the JavaScript code. And we can continue and continue. Um, now uh, we are out of the loop because warn became uh, zero. And we really can see that the callback has happened three times. And the test can continue. I have demonstrated enough the power of upcoming uh, NetBeans 8 that really helps you um, <clears throat> debug mixed application, applications that use Java and JavaScript inside of the same process.